Leaders heard from people today in a work session to talk about a couple of new developments in the area. One would bring apartments on Darty Road back to the table. Those plans were canceled after people voiced their complaints about a month ago. Nick Veland went to that meeting and tells us what might have changed. Yeah, and families on Darty Road and Aiken thought the plan to bring apartments that died a month ago, but tonight it was back on the table. I'm very upset. Ann Johnson has had an acre on Darty Road since 1986. She's experienced plenty of flooding, and the flooding concerns she has with this project haven't changed. It's only going to make it worse. She says that they're at a crossroads, with her retainment pond being the city's, the property being the county's, and the street being the state's, slowing down any progress, building the infrastructure up with the development in the area. She just wants solutions. Water does not know whether it's city county or state but it came to me and it ruined my sale of my property yeah. she was relieved when council members didn't allow this project to move forward a month ago hopeful to stop the flooding before continuing to build now the area is shocked to see it back on the table in council chambers they're just basically using my land free as their retention pond and I'm willing to fight it to the end. And after tonight's work session, all it takes is three council members to agree and get this project back on the agenda, which is something that Ann and other neighbors I spoke to don't want to happen. And we'll be sure to keep an eye on that development, but thanks for the update, Nick.